When we think about fashion, typically people start to think about New York, Milan, Paris, London, right? So what does Denver have to offer? And I think that in order for those four cities, those big cities to have new fresh talent, they look to smaller markets and smaller demographics. So what we can offer is, it's, is a platform for emerging talent that maybe just doesn't have that capability of being noticed in those larger cities. And we can give those emerging you know, stars that, that time. I'm Haley Hoda and I am the runway producer and director for Denver Fashion Week. Tonight actually is all about local couture. So we're gonna to focus tonight on original pieces. So each individual piece, there's nothing else like it, right? That's what couture means, that there's one of a kind. So each segment is going to be very individual, all the way from, you know, somewhat wedding dresses, all the way down to, you know, corsets and things like that. So couture can really mean anything. My name is Cora Aversano and I'm the designer of Aversano Designs. I grew up in Lakewood. My parents still live in the same home that I grew up in actually. So I started designing a year and a half ago. I have a love of like 60s movies, a little old school glam I would say. So my first two gowns, the whole point of it was bold and beautiful pretty much. Um, the glamorous elegance of the 60s, like Hollywood 60s. Um, so then I brought that into this new collection. The funniest thing that I do when I make dresses is I watch Golden Girls <laughs> the whole time. Um, don't ask me why, that's just my go-to. But I feel like once I'm in it, it's just like you just keep going. So I feel like I can make them pretty quickly. It was probably about two months ago that I said I would do it. So it's been a whirlwind of making 10 gowns, but it's come along pretty well, I would say. So yeah. I think it's important to highlight local talent because you know, local designers, they're artists, right? Like, and if we hear this about artists all the time, starving artists, but it's a only, the, only that because they don't know the resources, they don't know where to start. So creating a platform where they can actually come together with a community of like-minded individuals, they can get the resources that maybe they didn't know were accessible to them. So what we do is create a stage for that emerging talent to know where to go next and how to elevate each time that they do. I feel like the platform's huge because there's not a lot of fashion going on in Denver in this kind of realm. A lot of people are trying to start runway shows, but really Denver Fashion Week is the first one that actually did one and has done it pretty well and has gotten a lot of people to it. So I feel like for designers, it's kind of like your moment for a Denver fashion in general um, to like actually show what you have. A lot of people get to see your designs, I feel like ever since a lot of the pictures are on um, the pamphlets and on their Instagram and things like that, a lot of people have reached out to me about my designs. So that's been like a great way for me to be able to talk to people about that and kind of show more of my designs that people usually wouldn't see. But everyone's been so nice and really welcoming, which has been really awesome. And all the models are so great and really excited. Um, I'm really happy to see it all come together. So inclusivity is actually the center of Denver Fashion Week. So what we offer to models is a fully inclusive platform that we have, you know, models from all, all creeds, all colors, all heights, all sizes. We do not cast based on anything other than confidence and conviction. So really, if you think it, it's pretty possible. So if you want to come out and model, like we just tell anyone and everyone that you can have that chance and that opportunity. So our nonprofit this year is Dress for Success Denver, and they're actually very on par with supporting women get professional attire and support for um, going on job interviews or honestly just going out in the workforce. It's kind of like sometimes, again, right, we don't know what resources we have or what to do with those resources. So to be able to have someone to go to, it's such a huge thing, especially, you know, when you go to a job interview and you have a brand new jacket or a brand new shirt, it does something mentally to you. It's not just fashion, right? So I think that um, Dress for Success Denver is an amazing partnership for our nonprofit this season. If you've never been to a Denver Fashion Week runway experience, expect to be excited because honestly, every single night is centered around a, a different theme because it's for everyone, right? We have all the way kids shows, streetwear, couture. So really it could be something brand new to you that maybe you're just like, I just want to try this night. But I definitely think originality, excitement, creativity, and community. I think that especially after the past few years, community is such a huge thing that we've all been lacking. And 
and I, I want to speak for everyone when I say I'm very excited to bring these creatives together again and be able to have us back on the runway doing what we love. Stay elevated by subscribing to the city's YouTube page and stay tuned to our social media channels for more content. Don't miss our new episodes of Elevating Denver, premiering each month. Thanks for watching, Denver.